Yo, 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 what's up, Sooner fans? This is your host from the Prairie to the Pros, Jeremiah Hall, formerly number 27 on the field, but always number one in your hearts. Here with me today, you know who it is, my right-hand man, number nine on the field, the Braden Willis. And this is the podcast on the Prairie. Braden. Yo. Yeah, we're back. I think I'm getting used to the D in front of my name. I think I'm getting used to it now. Has it has it stuck yet? Are like guys in the locker room calling you the Braden? Oh, Willis not yet? guys in the locker room, but I see it all the time on Twitter, and y'all say it. I think it's getting. And my mom and some, you know, they tease me about it. So I think I'm getting used to it now. Bro, you know it'll be uh, official when those guys in the locker room start adding the D. <laughs> If I if I was still in there, I'd get a sharpie and put it like on your locker. Like, oh. like <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm gonna text terrible. Danny. I'm gonna text Danny when we're done and make sure he does it because I know Danny he would. would definitely. You know, Danny would do it. I know. I'm gonna make sure I'm, he does it. I'm gonna come in the locker room tomorrow. It's gonna be up there. I'm gonna take a picture and put it on Twitter. <laughs> hey, there we go. That's cool though. <laughs> I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while because I've been busy with the senior bowl. I was saying, day. man, how was the senior bowl, man? Y'all, yeah, y'all was, boys are showing out, man. Y'all look good out there, bro. It was it was an experience like no other. I had a blast there, but let me say it was uh, it was a lot, man. I felt like I was in fall camp mode because I'll, I'll just give you a run through of the entire week, right? So I fly I fly out Sunday, and I get there around one o'clock Central Time, and I'm busy literally all day. I get there, I have to weigh in. I have to get a physical. I have to get fitted for my pants and my jersey. I take a Wonderlick test. I have to take another two and a half hours worth of psychological tests. So they give us all these answers and we have to play like a video game type of deal. And man, it's it's crazy what the what the NFL asks you to do even before, you know, the combine or even before they draft you like. These people are super, super duper thorough. Like they're going to yeah. know you before even meeting you. It's it's crazy. And everyone fails to mention how much paperwork you have to do. I swear I wrote my social security, my name and my birthday so many times, my email, my phone number. Just I'm like, man, I, <laughs> I'm tired. So that was Sunday. I was busy from one o'clock until eleven. And then Monday, we're up six o'clock early in the morning. We have these activities all throughout the day. And it's another busy day. But Monday, Monday was the kicker. So we have meetings with the coaches around four or five, six o'clock. We finish these meetings at six, six thirty. That's when we get our plays. Right. So all the stuff we're going to run Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in the game, uh, we get it on Monday. And you know how like you get the plays, but you don't really know them because obviously you still got to study them. All right. So I was I was in a situation like that. Right. So right after that meeting, we had another set of meetings with the scouts from seven to eleven thirty. I met with 16 of the teams Mm -hmm. Monday night and we were all exhausted. But we had even when we finished and had to go back to our rooms, we had to study the playbook. (laughs) So guys were up till twelve thirty one a.m. Then we had to wake up at six a.m. for breakfast get ready and they have practice i'm like how do you expect us to function off of <laughs> such little sleep but man we have to we had to get it out the mud so mm-hmm. long story short man it was a uh, a week of getting to know a lot of cool guys um a week of learning fun and uh lack of sleep <laughs> hey so, man a week a week of you know a week of uh, a little less sleep you know what i'm saying to make a little money is never that bad you know what i'm saying yeah, nah, you ain't wrong. I'll tell you this though. <laughs> um, after the game, right? This is how tired I was, bro. After the game, I went to sleep at 7 30. <laughs> mm. That's how tired I was. <laughs> that boy is on that grown man talk. I gotta go to sleep. Oh, what? Guys was talking about going out to the club and celebrating, grabbing drinks. I was I was out, bro. I was tired. Cause I was, you know, I was the only fullback on my team. So I'm sitting there playing the whole game. Some guys, you know, some guys had it set up to where they only did a certain number of draws. Some guys right. only played a quarter. But, you know, good old Jay Hall, <laughs> I was in there the whole time. Yeah. 
So it it was fun though. I had a good time. I had to uh I, I got to meet guys like Charlie Kolar. Um mm-hmm. he's cool. It's crazy because you know, we played him what five times over the past so four many, years. Yeah, so many times. Yeah, so he's cool. Uh I got to chop it up with Petrie from Baylor. He's a cool dude. So uh oh Grant Grant was there. Mm-hmm. Um, My guy. Yeah. Got the got the oh, TJ was yeah. there also too. Oh yeah, yeah. He's also TJ. There. yeah. Yeah, man. It was it, it was a blast. I had a I had a good time. Um I wish we could have did a podcast while I was out there, man, but I was just I, I couldn't do it. I was beat. <laughs> so I think that people understand, you know. I think they yeah. understand. Sorry, Sooner Nation, we couldn't get uh <laughs> content out to you guys. We've been spoiling you guys for the past what five, six, seven months now. <laughs> Just know it's Jay Hall's fault because I was ready. Me and Alex were ready. <laughs> you and Alex were ready. I will give you that. They were waiting <laughs> on me. Uh, it was my job to actually interview Grant while we were down there, but I haven't got a chance to to even get that yet. So um, sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. I'll try and make it up to you though. But anyways, man, uh, how are things? How are things in Norman? What you got going on? Man, uh, things here, you know, I was telling Alex uh, before we started that, you know, this part of off season is kind of slow and not in terms of, you know, having stuff to do, just in terms of, you know, usually we're playing in season or we're in spring ball or, you know, things among that. But people don't really know that, you know, summer and like the the ses- the spring before spring ball is actually really like just just nothing but working out in class, you know? So it's really been just, you know, not a, un, like not eventful, you know, we, um, I have, you know, chopped it up with DG a lot, you know, uh, yeah. he took me out to dinner, took me and Marv out to dinner, uh, to Louis and, uh, chopped it up with him. We've had some throwing sessions, got some extra work in, but man, I will say though, the workouts are going well, you know what I'm saying? They, they're definitely not easy, but man, you just feel yourself getting some good work in, you know what I'm saying? I think all of us can appreciate that. And boy, we be lifted. Like I was telling, uh, like I was telling y'all before we started, uh, recording today, today, which today is, uh, Monday, February 7th for everybody wondering we, it was our upper body day and we had bench and the difference, you know, between like some of the workouts that we used to do in the past. And now is that we don't have like two like main lifts and like accessory lifts, you know, like stuff that is uh, combined with them. We have like five main lifts and then we got, they're paired with something else. Like it's like, bench incline like you know what i'm saying like terry's rows we got bent over road you know what i'm saying like it's just a whole yeah. bunch of stuff and so uh today we had bench and we had like five sets of that you know with two warm-up sets and then we were doing where we did three like three two one and we did a max set in a max set we have to go as many there's not, not a regular max set like as much weight as you can do there was a set weight on your car and you had to do that as many times as possible yeah you know so like i had 340 on mine i had to rep it out as many times as possible and then you know we obviously after that we had a drop set you know what i'm saying so my drop set was like 275 so i had to rep that for five but my weight my the uh my max weight was like 340 i think i hit it like three or four times like oh boy you're strong you know, after this is after like you know what I'm saying like a whole workouts and stuff you know what I'm saying strong my boy we we be we begin to then, we begin to then I think uh Danny today you know tweeted he's like uh work <laughs> I gotta go find a tweet because it was actually kind of funny he yeah, said I saw lifting, that. With, lifting with Braden is a dangerous game that I love he was talking about because we were doing pull ups and we I just kept on adding the weight on this and I was yeah. he's trying to keep up you know what I'm saying he kept up but man you know I was repping it out my boy was like. We got to two plates on the little belt thing, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. For the weighted pull-ups, he was like, I don't know, be well. I was like, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> he hit you with the, we might have to drop it down some <laughs> big dog. <laughs> yeah, he did it, though. He, he he did it. But, man, we be getting it in, you know what I'm saying? We're going to all yeah. walk out there extra swole, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Has Schmitty got yeah. on to you at all? Like, he, has he had to say anything to you? Um, Nah, not really. Um. Uh, well, 
not me, but the group, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the other day we had two guys that like were late, you know what I'm saying? Cars weren't starting and stuff like that. You know how that goes. So, uh, yeah. yeah, but not really overall today, but like I t- the only thing he has said to me <laughs> was one day we were working out. I remember I told you I got my ears pierced. Yeah. So we can't have earrings in while we're working out. So uh. I had to, uh, I, I didn't have my earrings in, but I had like the like clear spacers in, you know what I'm saying? But they were big. Mm-hmm. And he was like, take your earrings out. He's like, you need to take your earrings out. I was like, hey, coach, they're like spacers. He's like, oh, still take them out. So I took them out. And you know what I'm saying? Then I just put in the small ones. I was like, yeah. but that was really the only thing. And then so I went and talked to him afterwards and he's like, oh, okay, makes sense. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just make sure it's not noticeable. So I just put in the smaller ones. Yeah. But that was choose really your the only battles. Thing. Choose exactly. Your I want to go. I want. <laughs> I want to go. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, coach. Let me go ahead and take them out there. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we can talk about this later. I ain't we can talk about this that. after, coach. When you, you know, what I'm saying, you, you know, you can't put me on the stairmaster. <laughs> yeah. What? So, what's been the wildest thing you've seen from Schmitty so far? Or has he been kind of lax? Like, is he making guys make weight, like drinking shakes right there in front of you, and that type of deal? Or so the weight thing is starting this week. So oh. I imagine that we'll start seeing that because they have to talk to the coaches about what weights they wanted us to make and everything like okay. that. And, you know, the coach has been busy with recruiting. So they just started the weight thing this week. And then um, it hasn't been it hasn't been like anything like super just out the normal other than, you know, I mean, just <clears throat> some of the regular stuff that you would expect to happen in the college football program. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you're working out hard, you know what I'm saying? We had some guys throw up and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. The thing that you told me that was going to happen that I have, that has stuck in my head. That is absolutely true is when we run, when we run, we don't have any breaks. (laughs) So it's like the last group, whenever they pass the line, the next group is going. Like, there yeah. is no breaks. There's no, like, 30-second rest. There's no, like, one to two, one to three, none of that. Like, as yeah. soon as that last group go, <laughs> you're on the line, like, ready to go. <laughs> but um, overall, though, I, I like it, though. We do a lot of, like, stuff that is, like, really team building. So, like, we do everything together. So, like, mm-hmm. uh, like when we're walking, you know how we used to walk after – uh, a conditioning set or something to cool down. Oh, yeah. We're yeah, walking, we're walk all together. walking together and stuff like that. In a straight that. line. And then, mm-hmm, in a straight yeah. line. We got to uh, get gather outside the weight room, you know, after mm-hmm. after the workouts and wait on everybody to come. And then, yeah, exactly. And then so yeah. we all run over together. And then there was an instance where there was like some food or bottles left in the weight room or not in the weight room in the uh, indoor and we were all outside scotty came out he was like y'all need to you know pick up y'all stuff so we all had to go back in there and uh you know do it together it's just everything is together and i love it it's cool you know what i'm saying yeah so uh no, that's crazy that you say that because i'm sitting here having flashbacks while you talk because those are the little things that i forgot but those are the things that make all the difference like walking in a line I remember that like it was yesterday or um, like cleaning up. Like we couldn't ever leave anything. Right. Uh, yeah. The breaks. I forgot about that. I, matter of fact, I'm the one who told you about that and I still forgot. Yeah. But, man, I'm still it, it, and it's just little. It's just little stuff. Like, for example, yeah. like first off, like I told you the first time, the warm ups are no joke. OK, but when we do this, like little stuff, when we do like friends, we do like inchworms, you know what I'm saying? And we do inchworms. He will literally make everybody go back. If when we're going down, we're not like punching fast. So if we're not like, you know what I'm saying? Like inching yeah. down to the ground, he'd be like, nope, that's not fast enough. You got to punch like you're going to punch a defender. You know what I'm saying? So everybody go back. So we have to get down real fast and then <laughs> go all the way up to our toes. And stuff. It's real. It's, it's different, but it's real cool though. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I, I like it. It's just going to make us more disciplined and, uh, it's gonna make us closer as a team too. So, but we've been yeah. killing the workouts though. Schmitty's been happy. We've been happy. We just know when you walk in there, you're gonna work. You know what I'm saying? So, for sure. Well, it sounds like you're killing the workouts and having a good time because I've never seen somebody smile so much while talking about Schmitty's workout. So, <laughs> you must be doing nah. pretty good for yourself over there. I, it's just like I said, man. You just you know when you 
you know, when you get to push yourself, you know what I'm saying? You get to see how tough you are. You get to really make some progress. It's, it's, it's nice. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. I don't know. But that's just, you know, me. I, I don't know if anybody else is going to be smiling while talking about Schmitty, but, you know. Yeah. Ladies so. and gentlemen, you heard it here first from the Braden <laughs> Willis about what he thinks about Schmitty's workout so far. Um, I don't know about him, but uh, Braden, you probably saw I was bored in the airport and asked, Ask well, telling Sooner Nation to ask me questions. We could talk about whatever. And somebody asked me, "Would you or do you miss not being able to play under uh, BV for a year?" And then uh, they asked about Schmitty too, and I was like, "BV, yeah." And I was like, "Schmitty, nah." <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm I'm glad you uh you have a, a positive perspective on this new regime regime you have. <laughs> For sure, for sure. That's cool. Yeah. Hey, um, I forgot to mention earlier, I was talking about the Senior Bowl. It wouldn't be right for me to talk about the Senior Bowl if I didn't talk about how great of a week Perrion Winfrey had. Man. Yeah, I know you guys saw it all over Twitter, all over so Instagram, social media, whatever you're using. Man, he, he, he killed it. He mm -hmm. absolutely killed it. Me, I didn't... I didn't start that fast. Um, my first two days, my first two practices, they weren't slow, but they weren't great. Uh, my third practice was a lot better, and I think my game was uh, my best day. But, yeah, man, Perion, he came out there killing it. But I will say, though, I will say the defense – had a lot easier scheme than the offense, man. I think the defensive line only had like three calls, you know, cover mm -hmm. two, cover three. Man, yeah, that's, that. that's all the same. You know, that doesn't change. Whereas like the mm -hmm. offense, you know, we're playing, but at the same time, we're up there thinking and it's hard to play fast. So I'm not making excuses or anything, but the entire offense as a whole got a lot better day three. And, mm -hmm. um, as well as day as as well as game day. But uh Perion killed it. Um BA definitely made his name as one of the most versatile linebackers in the draft. Everybody saw his athletic ability. Uh, I didn't see Isaiah. I didn't watch Isaiah's reps too much, but from what I'm hearing, he had a great week. And um, you know, I just told you about mine. So uh oh and Keys. Keys had a Keys yeah, had, had a good, good week. Too. Too. Yeah. Yeah, I, you know, I was I was tuned into everything. I was watching it on NFL Network basically all week, and so I was tuned in. You know, because I, I gotta, I, you know, I gotta see, you know, maybe yeah. the process that I'm gonna go through next year. So, you know, I was tuned in. But yeah, y'all y'all boys are balling. Also, TJ had a good game day as well. You know, he came there yeah. late, but TJ Pledger, you know, Utah Utah or OU transferred went to Utah. Everybody knows him, but he had a pretty good game day. So shout out yeah. to uh, TJ. Speaking of you being tuned in, bro, I, I forgot to tell you this. Um, I know I texted you, but I forgot to tell you this off the off of us recording. But I I'll tell you now. Um, you got some good reports, man. You, you got uh, some. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey, people are. I'm. I was telling everybody, all the scouts that uh they mentioned the podcast, bro. Uh, half the scouts of the thirty two teams that I talked to, I think at least at the minimum twelve of them mentioned the podcast on the prairie so that gave me an opportunity to hype you up you know talk about oh, us love that. yeah talk <laughs> about that type of deal and i and i low-key got a little scouting report on you so oh yeah you we love that <laughs> ba ba basically be willie all you gotta do all you gotta do is stay healthy block continue to block your butt off and i already know you're gonna catch the ball and get those get them targets i ain't even worried about mm -hmm. that but Hey, brother, you focus on them two things. You gonna be, you you gonna be in that yes, mix. So. Yeah, that's that. You know, that's the that's the biggest thing. When I talk to a couple people, you know, that's what they were telling me. So, you know, just focusing on getting better as an athlete every day. You know, yeah. hour by hour, day by day, week by week, inch by inch. You know, and we'll see what happens. You know, later on this year. Yeah, for sure. I'm I'm not even worried about it. Not even worried about it. It it was cool though because. Um, I I just got to talk about us. I got to talk, Alex. You're not even a recruit, but I threw you in there. I'm like, yo, there's, <laughs> there's this kid we met. He was out here in Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> ah man. Um, so shout out to the fans for 
for uh following the pod and you know how we feel about the fans and that type of deal but uh uh yeah just just had to shout out just had to shout out my boys man um perion won mvp that type of deal all those receipts i think he's made like five instagram posts just from senior bowl pictures alone that kid <laughs> is uh <laughs> he, he's so happy man um i'm happy for all the boys man i'm i'm, I'm happy for all the boys um uh, i think i think um shoot what was i about to say I can't remember. We'll come back to it, but um, yeah, that's y'all the, definitely made the University of Oklahoma proud. Y'all boys did a y'all y'all boys were doing great, man. Y'all were balling. Like yeah. I said, I was tuned in, so I could tell y'all y'all made the University of Oklahoma proud. Y'all made the fans proud. You know they were talking about it all week, and uh, yeah, man, we can't wait to see what y'all you know what I'm saying what y'all come back and do in the combine and in the pro day. Also, yeah, like I don't think I've got a chance to congratulate you on the combine the uh combine uh invite. Like personally. Oh, yeah. Appreciate yeah, so you. So congrats on that, man. That's big time right there. Thank you. Thank you. I um I was praying, man. I was praying, you know, I'm the top H back and everything, but you just never know. So <laughs> I'm sure. happy. I'm excited. You know, not too many guys get that uh combine and Reese's Bowl invite. So uh, oh, speaking of, here's a crazy stat. You can't even get this at the combine, but Jim Nagy told us the, you know, director of the Reese's mm -hmm. Bowl. He told us that 90% of Reese's Bowl players that were there last year were on an opening day roster for week mm -hmm. one of this year. And after he told me that, I I was like, I was like, man, I'm about to, I'm about to kill it. I'm about to you know my my yeah. my confidence went went through the roof and so um i think i said it on on twitter real quick just about my confidence in general um uh, my first two days honestly sooner nation i was um i didn't do as great as i wanted to i didn't start out as fast as as Perion, and that's how i imagine me starting out my one-on-ones weren't great and i was struggling a little bit but um I prayed about it i talked to my parents about it and they just told me to go out there and have fun that type of deal and uh each day i, I got better and better and better and by the end of the week man i can certainly see myself in the nfl prospering and being successful because i'm i'm the type of person to overthink and um i was a little nervous going into the senior bowl i'm not even gonna lie to you but uh now um I got all the confidence in the world. I know you guys have faith in me as well. So I just wanted to make sure I put that out there and, and gave you all the real spiel about what was going on. Cause it's not always, you know, high and mighty chest held high mm -hmm. thinking that we're on top of the world. You know, I actually, I, I do face struggles and um, I did, I did struggle those first couple of days, but um, I'm glad I finished on though. Yeah, for sure, man. I was, I was just getting ready to ask you, how do you, how did you feel like the competition was and how you fared as like, was it a noticeable difference just all the you know all like really talented players from each team around the country being on you know what i'm saying two teams do you, did you feel like it was like anything different than what we would experience on a saturday like you know playing for ou or like how'd you how'd you feel like you fared yeah you know you um i don't think anything was much different the speed was uh pretty much the same um yeah. I will say you just respect your opponent a little bit more. You know, you're on your toes a little bit more because you can get anything. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like, you know, how we go up to the linebackers in practice and say, we can wrap y'all up any day, blah, blah, blah. You know, we we talk that smack. It, it There, like, you could talk that smack, but you, you better be ready up. to, yeah, you mm -hmm. better be ready to back it up and respond because a guy can hit you with a move that you ain't never seen before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you got to be able to react. Your feet got to be quick, sharp. Hands got to be ready. So um, mm -hmm. I guess the biggest thing was there were no tendencies that you could pick up on on any particular person because obviously it's not like we play them or practice the same guys over and over and over. You know, each, each rep is a strain, bro. And honestly, we didn't even have as many reps during the week, but I felt more tired during – or after a senior bowl practice than I would one of our practices. And I think that's mm -hmm. just because, you know, it's it was like high game reps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Each rep is like a game rep. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's it's high, high, you know, tense situation. You know, you're straining. Adrenaline pumping, yeah, all that yeah. good stuff. Mm -hmm. 
So, uh, you know, no, that's interesting that you say that because I didn't even think of that. Like we go into practice and we're running one on ones versus our safeties or something like that. But we know our guys, they know us. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I know what works well versus them, what doesn't work well. I know what their tendencies are. You go there, you don't know what tendencies are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what is what. So that's interesting that you say that. Yeah. It's – um, you definitely respect the game a little bit more because, for example, when you're running routes, hands. <laughs> I never thought I would I'd focus so much on using my hands so much as is when I went down there because I'm like, man, I got to be – you know, ready for, for anything because somebody's jab might be quicker than the next man. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. you know what's up. But um, you'll you'll be ready when the time comes. I anticipate you getting an invite, not even worried. But um, real quick, moving on to our next topic. I, I don't want to touch on this too much, but I felt like we had to address it. Um, Got to. What's up with the – I mean, I, I kind of knew Caleb was either going to – Caleb mm-hmm. was probably going to go to USC or I don't know, I guess the Wisconsin rumor, but I was leaning more towards USC than anything, but um, I'm not really wor- worried about that. I respect it. You know, um, Lincoln was who he wanted to come in with, blah, blah, blah. But what's up with Link talking about the transfer portal, man? <laughs> oh, man. You know, I, you know, I, I'm <laughs> not going to talk down on Link, but uh, he, here's what he said. Here's what he said. I'm going to read the quote. He said, I think at some point we'll have to put in some guardrails. I think it's difficult for players, difficult for coaches, coaches, and difficult to build rosters when discussing the transfer portal. I was a little confused by that. I don't really know what he meant. I I don't know. Okay. So I'm going to (laughs) say, I'm going to say that. He knows because man, they got a lot of players on the transfer portal. A lot. Like yeah. they got the Oregon running back and like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm assuming that he knows that he kinda, you know what I'm saying? He kinda he's getting away with, you know what I'm saying, some stuff that if the transfer portal was any other type of way or how it was back in the day, he wouldn't have got away with. So I'm assuming that he knows that, you know what I'm saying, what he did was not necessarily like how do you say it? conventional but he does that eventually that's gonna have to change that's how i'm assuming he meant it you know what i'm saying because he's like i got away with it but they're not gonna let this (laughs) keep on (laughs) you know what i'm saying (laughs) they're not gonna let the people start getting away with this for too much longer so that's how i took it but also it's like uh this thing it don't really make sense like two plus two is not equaling four right now (laughs) you know what i'm saying like got all these guys and you know what i'm saying you saying this like you should be like at this point be happy about the transfer portal so i don't know yeah i think uh i think link definitely won the uh what did mike wood say uh he won the portal combat <laughs> of, <laughs> yeah, he did. Uh, of this off season so oh yeah mm, i i don't know about that one but it is what it is um i'm sure he meant something by it but uh It'd be nice if we could have that that cleared up. But anyways, we got our guys now. Signing days over with. All that is in the past. Caleb's out. We got a new QB in this thing. OU is worried about OU. And uh, mm-hmm. nobody else, man. It's like what Caleb says. OU versus or against the world. Versus or against. It's one of those. Same thing. One of them. Um, mm-hmm. Especially yeah. now that we were left out the uh, Atlantic's early top 25. I forgot to mention that earlier, but yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I saw obviously, that. you know you know how we are in the locker room. We don't care. We really don't care too much about the outside opinions, obviously. Yeah. But um, it has caught some eyes from, you know, us older players, and we are paying attention as we always do. You, you know, we yeah. don't really care that much, but – at the same time, you know what I'm saying? It's not what everybody's thinking, you know what I'm saying? We we, we got some stuff. Yeah. I'm excited about what we're building, so I'm not really too worried. And then also we have coaches that are pushing, you know what I'm saying? We, we talk about our goals, you know what I'm saying? And so the best example I can do is they put everybody everything on everybody's locker. They put this. 
national championship oh. trophy on everybody's yeah. locker, on every single you know, door entrance, on everything. It's all over the place. We have no choice to think about that. So as we always say, we're going to just be the sleeping giant. You know what I'm saying? We're just going to be chilling, you know, getting our work in, head down, pedal to the yeah. metal, and then we're going to let it talk for itself, you know, when, when that day comes. My thing, when I saw it, I'm like, how could you put – and their response was that we lost, you know, Caleb, we lost Spencer, um, you know, we lost Mo, Mo we lost me, and, uh, you know, the rest of the guys, B.A., Perry, that type of deal. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm like, bro, we've proven to be capable of reloading, but yet every year they put Texas in the top 25, and what has Texas done? They put, you know, A&M prior before they were any good. They put them in the top 25. What have they done? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, we lose a few guys. And it's like they, the the faith of the world is lost in OU. And I'm like, we, we've been doing this for how long? And there's it's, some teams that so haven't even made a championship game. I'm like, what? It's so weird. It's funny that you said that. You know what the most interesting thing to me every year is that Every year we lose guys and we always reload. And then also, if we're being quite honest here, if we're being quite honest, if we had the year that we thought we were going to have, speaking like national championship, you know, Big 12 championship and everything like that, we were going to lose a whole lot more guys than we were originally. And if it's so hypocritical because if we would have did that, you know what I'm saying? And say Link would have stayed, whatever the case would be. If we would have went to Big 12, won a natty, whatever the case might be, Link would have stayed. Even if we would have lost all them people, they wouldn't have been saying that. They would have been like, oh, man, yeah. OU's going to be great this year. You know, they, they're they coming off a of natty. They lost some talent, but, you know, OU always reloads. But now it's all doom and gloom. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, we're not, we not too worried about it. Just know we're paying attention. We got our eye towards it. We don't got our whole head turned, but we got our eye, you know, look peeping out our, you know, peripheral. So, we're we going to, you know what I'm saying? We're we just going to put our heads down, grind. And, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to August, we're just going to, you know, let that let the grind and do its talking for itself, you know? For sure. I got all the faith in the world in you guys, especially – uh, with my with my boy B Willie at the helm, probably in that captain role somewhere down yes, the sir. line. Um, but nah, man, I'm uh I'm in total agreement agreement with you. Um, from a selfish point of view, I'm looking forward to being a fan, or not selfish, just from my own point of view. So uh, try not to stress me out too much if possible. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but sure. uh, nah, man, you you know I um support y'all boys. Can't wait to see y'all in action. Um, mm-hmm. I know you guys are doing great. Um, I know that work with Schmitty is is just going to make y'all better. Um, but yeah, be on the sticker sticker. I will say this before we move on to our next part: stick around the the scale those those first few days as guys are weighing in and and just see what happens. <laughs> I'm telling you, you you probably gonna see something that you ain't ever seen before. But <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> You go, you I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make sure I'm in the middle of the pack so I can hear and scope out some things. <laughs> oh man, that's what's up. All right, Sooner Nation, that's all we got for this part of the podcast. <laughs>